Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for April, May and June 2020. I hope you are doing well today. Also, um, this is more of a, like a sneak peek reading and I wanted to use some really fun colourful cards. So for the air sign readings and the water sign readings, I decided to change the deck of cards. Um, just because I was really feeling this energy. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you know, find information in it, of course. And um, also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, please do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be down below as well. And uh, they are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So this is what they are. Um... There's so many different ones on there, and this is the 2020 Energy Bracelet. It is there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life, and there are so many on there as well. And yeah, if you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results with them, please do check out my Etsy shop below. Um, they're handmade, meditated with, staged, free international shipping. All that good stuff, all that good stuff, and I love making them for each and every one of you. It has been a pleasure, truly, truly has, and it's something really, really sort of personal, right? I'm, I'm giving you something that I'm, I've actually made. So, and the most amazing thing is that they, they show results, you know, that's, that's the big thing. Now, for this reading, what we're going to do is we're going to do four cards for April, four cards for May, and four cards for June. So let's begin straight away, Aquarius. I want to know what's coming through. I know you are eagerly waiting as well. I also have a Patreon as well for those of you that are looking for exclusive content I don't post anywhere else on how to manifest the life of your dreams. That content is on Patreon, so if you are interested, do check out the description box below as well. Dun, 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 dun. Card just fell on the floor. Let's just put the deck on the side here. Here's what April brings you. Dun, 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 dun. Let me just grab this card that fell on the floor. Ooh, Six of Wands. Okay, Six of Wands has been making appearances in a lot of the um, April, May, June readings, specifically in the April part, which I think is really interesting. So make sure you check out your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign readings. If you know you're here for your sun sign, check out your other sign readings, vice versa. I think you'll find a lot of information um, for each you know, of the months in your other sign readings for sure. Now, the Six of Wands here shows some form of celebration, and I really feel like it's it's a victory, you know, it's it's a personal victory, it could be quite literally a birthday party, or an anniversary, or a celebration of some sort, um, it doesn't have to be your birthday or anniversary, it could be someone else's, I'm just seeing a really nice celebration, it could be a, a gathering as well, um, or again, it could be a personal victory, but you will know what it is, because you will feel the energy of it, especially if it's a personal victory. There's definitely a sense of feeling good in April that I'm picking up on. And of course, you know, the Mercury retrograde is over in April, which it's over by the time we get to April. That's what I meant. Um, Mercury has actually gone direct on the 10th of March. Um, so by the time you get to April, Mercury retrograde is over, right? So that's, that's what I meant by that, but it just came out completely different. So temperance here really showcases a very strong energy about putting yourself first. You know, it's really about balancing those energies, thinking about yourself, thinking about where you want to go, the progression that you want in life. It, and that's, a, again, a very common thing that I have really picked up on in these readings is that April is really about ourselves you know it's about taking action it's about doing things for ourselves so it's about feeling better it's about taking care of our emotional needs and and thinking does this this and this serve me and if it's not then why am i still putting so much energy and time and effort behind it because that's what so many of you are going to be asking yourself with this particular card now the full card is very important here because it does show some form of happiness and joy and excitement that i'm picking up on you could go traveling um it's, it's a touchy time to go traveling internationally, that's that's what I would say, but um, you know, this could be quite local as well, all right, and it could also be related to this particular gathering, is what I'm seeing. Now, 
the situation is different for everyone so please take what resonates and what I what I'm seeing for you but I'm definitely seeing some form of a journey some form of travel um, you know I thought I would just mention the thing about international travel because obviously things are quite all over the place right now um, in regards to you know the health thing going on so that's what I would say now I know that I just said health thing um, it's mainly because I cannot actually mention the C word as we know it um, on my channel because YouTube has a history of um, actually deleting videos that detect that word which I know is crazy right um, not so much in the comment section but in the actual videos because the, the computer the um, the algorithms they actually scan the videos um, in regards to what's being said in the videos which is insane but that's <laughs> that's the world of technology that we live in so you know when I talk about that I'm, I'm sure you guys all know of um, it's the C word from the country of China you know so please take care of yourselves of course during this time as well you know just stay cautious wash your hands you know but the thing here really is is um, that is showing some form of journey so take that according to your situation and make those choices according to you know your situation and where you're at. I think that's really important for me to mention as well. The Ten of Cups here really shows a sense of happiness, a sense of joy, um, a sense of actually spending sort of more more time with those that you love. Now again, I mentioned some form of gathering, and I know that you know with the way the world is right now, gatherings are you know something that not everybody wants to be doing, but um, I, I still see it regardless. Um, just again, please take this as it resonates to your situation um, because it's going to be different for everyone and not everybody lives in countries at this very point in time that are fully affected by everything. So please, again, just take it as it resonates um, and the messages that make sense to you. All right, so that's what we're seeing there. Now let's move on to May. We've got the Seven of Cups. We have here five cards, so seven of cups, seven of pentacles, lots of, sorry, six of cups, my gosh. Six of cups, seven of pentacles, we've got the knight of wands and the queen of swords. Okay, so, you've got a knight, a knight, and a queen. Did I say this was a king? Oh my gosh, what is happening with me in May? Do you know what I, what is happening? The, the, the fact is I'm getting these cards wrong right and what happens when we get things wrong sometimes and it's it's just the energies it's retrogrades right what do we have in May we have three big retrogrades we have the start of the Saturn retrograde we have the start of the Venus retrograde we also have the start of the Jupiter retrograde these three retrogrades really play tricks on your mind so it's something that I am seeing in May is that you may find that you know you're thinking well and you're you're doing well and things like that but you might get certain things maybe wrong at times you might accidentally sort of say the wrong thing you might find that you might write the wrong thing okay so what I would recommend is just taking a bit of extra time to sort of just <laughs> look at things again which I think is so interesting because you know I made that mistake and it actually represents what I see happening in May for some of you many of you a lot of you all right um, so the thing is it will depend as to how many of you are affected by this depending on how many of you it takes sort of that extra time to proofread things you know before you send them and do them so that's just what I'm seeing so the Queen of Swords is about thoroughly sort of checking things it's also your energy about feeling strong and confident and um, again you know just making sure you double check things as well. Knight of Pentacles also shows here an increase in terms of finances, which I think is really interesting that that's coming through. Um, it also can show an increase in commitment, okay, especially for those of you that have romance around you during this time with the Six of Cups, okay. Six of Cups also shows romance and a gift. Definitely seeing a gift. I'm also seeing intimacy as well, which is really interesting. And we did see sort of a sense of love with the Ten of Cups, but I'm seeing things really sort of pick up much more in May, but also that you do sort of run the risk of, of maybe saying something that you don't mean to say at times. Just, you know, think about things before you maybe say them, because especially with a Venus retrograde as well, you know, energies are, energies can be very um, topsy-turvy at times, but just think about things, reflect on things before you say them, do them, you know, that kind of energy. All right, so now that we've got that energy, and the thing is, tarot allows us to move past obstacles and challenges. We can avoid them altogether with the help of tarot. So in many ways, a lot of you are going to be avoiding, you know, 
<laughs> saying the wrong thing or, or, or accidentally maybe doing the wrong thing because you'll be aware that there are so many retrogrades happening and things like that um, and you'll just be more careful I think and that's that's a good thing so Queen of Swords you got power okay you got power to make things work now if you're just wondering what the heck I was doing there um, I have another deck on the side so that's that's just that okay um, <laughs> nothing else no conspiracy theories here okay so Aquarius June what does June bring you? Oh, okay, card just fell on the floor. June brings you the Queen of Cups. Ta-da! It also brings you the King of Wands. Ta-da! There's definitely growth here from the Knight to the King. We've got the Lovers, which seems to come out in <laughs> it's come out in all the air sign readings. Okay, so for those of you that have air quite high high up in your chart. You know, I advise you to watch the other air sign readings for sure. And when I mean high up in your chart, you know, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign, especially if you've got double air or triple air or quadruple air in your chart. Whoa, that would be crazy, right? So we've got here the page of swords as well. Now this is showing you feeling so confident in your own energy. You just, you know, you just know how to work with yourself. And I know that sounds really bizarre, but sometimes you know how we just can't focus or concentrate or we just feel confused and we don't know what to do this is about you really just being like I know what I want to do I know what I'm doing I know exactly how I'm going to do x y and z that's that's your energy in June I think that's really really lovely I definitely feel that you want to go out more you want to do more things you want to be more active and you know go out there I think that's so so lovely because I feel like for some of you you know especially in the beginning portion of the year. Some of you may have really struggled, but you've really come into your own, and that's really beautiful to see. The lovers here shows an increase in terms of love, as we saw. Did see intimacy there. I see that continuing here in June as well, with a person. Um, but no pressure, of course. No pressure. It's always up to you, okay? That's just what I want to say. Just because I see it doesn't mean you have to go out and actually do it, right? But that's, it's just something I'm seeing. If it resonates with you, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and it's okay. Okay, so the lovers here um, really showcasing a sense of excitement and fun um, and joy. Um, I'm also seeing that you might go somewhere that has music. That's just something that I'm picking up on. Or you might get a gift that includes music, but from this particular person, like someone romantic. And then the Queen of Cups here shows you really coming into yourself emotionally, feeling emotionally stable, dipping yourself sorry, dipping your toes, should I say, into the water and not being afraid of it, you know, just really sort of rolling with it and feeling good, and especially when that full moon comes around in June, yes, you know, you can feel the emotions, but you feel more, you feel better in your emotions, that's how I'm picking things up, so Aquarius, this is your reading, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and um, definitely do, yeah, check out you know, the description box below and take care for sure. Bye, Grace.